Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be getting my car ready for BHP. But first, let's go and get this haircut. And now that I'm looking more like a human being again, and the power of YouTube, we are now going to appear in the workshop and we are going to start playing cars. And here we are, back up the workshop. I have got a few bits I want to put on the car before the next car show at BHP. I've got I've got a new dice dipstick topper, which as you guys are very aware, I am very proud of my engine bay. A lot of hard work has gone into that between me and my friends. Um, I've also got going on today my new replacement halos from Auto Beam. I need to get them on. I've got a sticker front number plate. I'm going to have a go at potentially taking off the original, sticking one on the side and drilling out some holes, getting ready for uh, my stage three cooler. Spoilers alert. Um, and then I've also got my headlight duct, which I need to adjust the pipe work on the rear. As you can see, I've got some silicone hosing there, which I'm gonna hopefully adjust so that it's a bit more beneficial to the cold side of the intake so that it hopefully comes around. So I'm gonna be doing that while I've got the headlight out to get down at the halos. So it's gonna be a bit full on, or I'd say full on, but it's all in the prep. I also want to hopefully get the odd heat gun out and get rid of some of these stickers I've got going on. They're starting to look a bit tired now. They've been on the car a couple of years. They're not built to last, let's face it. I'm also waiting on a 4D number plate for the rear. Um, yeah, just the postman. It's a bit slow at delivering. It was meant to be here two days ago, but it's still not here. I've chased it up, it is in the post. I've also got, if you guys know the S1600 model, they've got the white stripes that go up the side and down the middle. I didn't want the middle ones, but I've going up the sides along along here, one second, I'll just show you all. Going up the side from the ST, down jump, just following the curve, up to where my man with the fuel cap chasing the fuel is. Going to going down here. I've got a black, gloss black, so it's sort of like a moderately stealthed in. Should look quite good, I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. Um, stripes going down the side, going off to a point. So I'm just waiting on that to come and hopefully that'll be here before the weekend so I can slap it all together. All right, so let's make a start then. Okay, so as you can see, paint mods have very kindly given some double bubble Loctite. I'll mix that in a minute. Oh, they've also got giving you a sheet to mix it on. Fair play, I'd be doing that, mixing palette. And here is a instruction manual. I've already pulled my dipstick out as you can see. And it shows you where to cut and where to aim for to get this on. And they've given you very detailed instructions. So now with a marker pen, I am just going to mark off where they, where I've got to cut. And I've got myself a little hobby craft multi sanding drill tool. And I'm just going to sand down the edges until it meets the required shape and bond this one on the end. So it should look quite good. I do know that you're not meant to go past this lip here as that's what holds that in place to make sure it doesn't go down any further. So let's, um, yeah, let's crack on. Okay, so as you can see, I have cut off enough of the plastic now that that just slides on the top. Now I need to bond it onto it and uh, pray that it stays, really. So yeah, let's get mixing this bonding solution and get it stuck on. Okay then, so what I've done is mix the paste on the top of the workshop workbench over there, give it a mix around with the stick they provided plastered it onto the 
the stalk stuck this bit here on. It says on the packet that it takes three to five minutes to go set at 20 degrees. It's nowhere near 20 degrees today. Come off it. You know, it's been torrential downpour yesterday and it's still blooming cold now. So I'm going to leave that for a while. But it is starting to set off slowly. Until then, I'm going to whip back in there now and get on with the next job. Might start it off in here with a bit of the heat gun, just to hurry it along a bit. And then, yeah, fingers crossed, it sticks and it goes back on the car. If not, I'm going to get the old super glue out and pump it full of super glue and then stick that bugger back on like that. But hopefully it doesn't go down that route. But hey ho, this is how we learn. Now then, to get rid of these stickers, to clean it up, I find personally the best way to get them off is with a heat gun, just gently warming the surface and then using one of these here scrapers that you get from most paint supply shops or body shops. And um, yeah, just lightly heating the surface and scraping them off. It's a lot easier than just picking and peeling and yeah. You either do it on a nice hot summer's day when the sun's out shining to peel them off because it makes it a hell of a lot easier or like I'm forced to today, heat gun. So yeah, I'm gonna get this all off. Then when it's off, tar and glue remover to get rid of all the sticky residue or use a cutting compound like tea cut or something or white spirit on a rag. And then the, yeah, the sticky residue stuff comes off. So that's gonna be my next job on the list. Yay, fun times. Just like that guys, with the use of a scraper and a heat gun, as easy as they go on, they generally do come off just as easy. All it needs now is a polish up and you're back to having clear paint slash glass again. Trick is not to get it too hot, otherwise you'll make your paint bubble. But you just wanna use a scraper to flick a corner off and while it's still warm, grab hold of that corner and pull. And before you know it, all the stickers are off and yeah, yeah. They're bound to leave, these ones are bound to have left marks because they have been on the car, as I say, for around a year and a half. But now is the time to take them off and clean the back end up. Now it just needs a polish. The job's a good one. Okay, so I've just reinstalled my dipstick. You can see the difference now. How much cooler does that look, in my opinion? While it was off, while I had the engine cover off, I thought it was a good idea, I replaced the T-piece that I had was one of these cheap old plastic ones that you can get. So I replaced it with a nice strong metal one, four millimeters internal, whereas that one's only three. And the silicone tubing going all around is four millimeters. So I thought I would um, just keep it the same throughout just in case that was potentially causing any boost issues anywhere between the map sensor and the blow off valve. So yeah, I installed that. I think that's looking quite smart now. Now it's time that I moved on to the headlights, I think. Let's take the headlight out and well, yeah, crack on with the with the duct. Okay then, guys. So I don't know how well I can show you this, but as you can see, the pipe comes in, fires cold air over here. This is for track use only, and I want it to make it work. Yes, it will do something, but it's not 100% perfect. Some people have been getting duct piping, but I want to go along the lines of a silicone bend. So I got this bend here. I'll show you, I've already cut it, right? I've got this bend here, right? And to make it work, I've taken this bit here off. So then it opens up like that. So that's the plan of action anyway, to go onto there. But that would mean I would have to cut it roughly there for it to be of any use. So it would, should sit nicely down there. So I'm gonna now take that out and give it a cut. Then I'm gonna use a just a normal Jubilee clip just to hold that in place. And then, fingers crossed, another successful mod done today.
Okay then, so then, now that with that on, that is nigh on direct, I don't know where you can see that there, going straight onto my cone. There is, I don't know, can't really get a good angle to see, but that is perfectly now flowing straight at my cone filter. It goes from a four to a three, down to a two inch, like, tube so that when the four inch closes down to the smaller it should be in theory pushing that air that little bit harder so extra cold air means extra cold air going into your intake which means cooler temperatures and essentially more boost so with that and my graham goody mouth and my veloza tech big mouth all adds up so now let's get this one off Let's get my fog light cover off. Let's start looking at replacing my halo. Okay then, because it was literally the case of switching the old out for the new, I didn't see any point in recording it. So now I have got a new... I don't know how you can see it, that's better. New halo from Autobeam, thank you very much. Her customer service was second to none. So now I'm very happy that both sides now work again. I was missing five LEDs out of the original one that I had. As you could see from the backing of it, it was starting to uh, flick off. Well, that's what you get when you run it on a daily basis, I suppose. So yeah, now that that's sorted out, on to the next job. Okay, so that's all the maintenance -y style jobs done, is what I'm gonna call it. I've replaced the halo now. That had five LEDs blown in it. That's all sorted, looking good again. The dipstick has been replaced, the top piece with the dice. I think that looks cool as hell. Absolutely love it. Something different in my engine bay. And I've also got the stickers off that were looking tacky as hell. Wasn't a big fan of them anyway, but I just thought they were a bit cheeky at the time, so I threw them on. And now it is time to get on to the mod side of things now. I'm gonna be taking the front number plate off. I've got a sticker one to go in its place, and it's gonna go on the side. And I'm gonna be drilling some holes out with a pipe hole cutter. So let cold air through onto the radiator for now, but in the future, Hopefully very soon, if my sponsor can pull his thumb out his ass and get an account with AirTech, um, I should be getting a stage three slash four front mount intercooler behind there. But if not, I will be on the lookout for a second hand one, which I will refurbish more than likely, respray and new stencil and all that jazz. So until then, it's just gonna be holes there for now, but it should look cool. And when there is a cooler behind that, it will have even more purpose. So let's get cracking with that. All right, okay, so that's the front number plate off. Now to make sure that I get an accurate spacing between each of the holes, I'm gonna masking tape it up and then I am going to do a little stencil around to space out and see how many I want to joined by Mark Bridges from MBTV. He's, he's been giving me a few friendly little pointers. But now, as you can see, oh, there we go. I made the marks of where I want it to go. I'm just about to, I've got the drill on charge at the moment while I'm trying to work out how to go about this. I've fixed it all together and uh, yeah, 
about to drill out all the holes. By the magic of YouTube, when this is finished, I'll show you the finished product. Okay then, so I've used the hole saw and I've cut the holes out in the front of the bumper. To say it was nerve wracking was the least. <laughs> and with some uh, gentle help and persuasion from Mark, managed to get this number plate on the side as I wanted. Because I'm a fucking legend. <laughs> so yeah, let me just show you quickly. Yeah, I managed to get those holes nice and level and even as possibly could. So we measured it all out by eye and only used the inch tape as measurement. And the number plate put under the light. The vinyl didn't come across as the best quality. We did, I did want it a little bit lower down personally, but the ridge was causing some issues. So we had to choose up or down. We went with up because we felt it looked a little bit smarter. So all in all, Today's prep on the car, getting it ready for BHP, has been a success all round. Thank God, touch wood. There will be no reoccurring issues over the rest of the week. Hopefully the rest of the bits that I've ordered will be here for Saturday where I'll be cleaning the car. And Sunday on Father's Day is show day. So keep an eye out for that video. I'll catch you guys in a bit. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.